Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm going to be doing another Christmassy project today. Um, and we're going to be repurposing these two um, parts of a book cover. So sometimes with these old books, um, you could be, you know, trying to use the pages and things and then the book just falls apart. Uh, it does happen more often than, than not. If I lose the spine, I always keep the book boards because you can make a multitude of things with these. And one of the things is writing boards. So we're going to make um, a couple of those. So um, first things first, um, we have the book cover and you might find that, you know, part of the spine is there with it. So if you find that, you just want to trim it off. You could use scissors and I've done that in the past and it works absolutely fine. Uh, for today, I'm going to try a craft knife. So I've just got my ruler and I'm just following the edge of where the book board naturally is. That's all I'm doing. And uh, you'll need to push down quite hard or, you know, do it several times because there's quite a few layers to get through. There we go. And then that just comes away nice and nice and cleanly. So we can throw that away. And what you should hopefully be left with is a nice neat edge, just like that. And hopefully we're straight. Let me just do a double check. Yeah, relatively straight. I think the uh, the print on the front isn't completely straight. So we've got those. Um, so let me just pop that away. Um, so I don't want to lose this nice gold on the front. I, it kind of reminded me of um, like Santa's. I don't know if if Santa had a book, his list, for example. Would it look something like this? Maybe. So I don't want to lose that. Um, but I do want to, you know, fancy up the inside, tidy it up a bit. I don't know if you can see here, there's a little bit of like, you know, dark staining, which is not quite so nice. Um, this one is plain, so I think we can fancy that up. And then, yeah, we'll just work with these. So I have made writing boards from book covers many, many times. It, it, it works really nicely because they're just the perfect thickness. Um, and, you know, if they fit inside your journal, then they're absolutely perfect. So hopefully I've sold it to you. <laughs> OK, so I'm thinking to use this uh, present paper um, because I had Santa in my head when I saw these book covers. So I don't want to go completely to the edge. I do want to keep part of this border. The only issue is... Um, this one obviously doesn't have that, it's just the three sides. But that's okay because we're going to go over it with some gold gilding. I'm just going to line that up with a nice, nice straight edge. Oops. And just make a couple of marks. So I'm just going to come in slightly from the edge. So. Right, I'm going to need to get my trimmer out, so bear with me. Let me just pop this away because we're done, done with that. Okay, so let's... Oh, I've got some... <laughs> i got some fabric stuff. Oh, goodness. I think that's a hint. My room desperately needs a, uh, a hoover. Tidy up. Okay, let's check that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. How cute does that look? Proper cute. Um, and then, as I say, this will be covered up with some, some gold gilding. Okay, yep. It doesn't have to be perfect, so that's that one. Um, keep that as a scrap. So let's try this one. Again, I'm just keeping the uh, 
uh, the straight edges as best I can. Again, just come in slightly and about there. And the great thing about using the book boards is uh, you don't have to do any measuring to cut anything like cut the actual boards down to size it's it's done for you all you have to bear in mind is um you know will your uh will your uh, book cover fit inside your journal and if it does then then bro jobs are good happy with that <laughs> Love them. right so what shall we do um i think we'll get these stuck down first um i don't know whether to ink them i might ink them slightly uh with my tea dye and i'm gonna go over it as lightly as i can maybe just what i've got on the dobber already that we will do another project with uh, book boards book covers uh, as part of the Christmas series as well because I thought to do I've got a large book cover that you know doesn't suit as a writing board because it's too big to fit inside a journal it's like a massive massive you know a4 sized book and I thought to turn those into clipboards. So we'll do something like that together. Which way does that go? That way? Does it matter? Probably not. Right, so let's use the Kalal and get those oops, stuck down. And when you come to use it as a writing board, I would recommend using the scrapbook paper side, just so that we don't damage the, uh, the you know, the nice book cover. Um, and especially as we're going to add a nice decoration to the front. Um, and we're going to do matte medium on these, um, so that there will be, have I done that the wrong way? Sorry, I think that's supposed to go that way. Um, so that the... The scrapbook layer is is protected you're not going to like dent it when you you start writing or something because you know that is something to bear in mind like if you were using a biro you might press down a little bit hard and you don't want you know don't want to ruin things just trying to make sure we're all lined up nice and i'm going to <laughs> get out my fancy new braying tool hopefully I haven't got anything on it okay that's one and next one And I'm probably going to put book corners on these as well. Um, just because the book covers were a little bit battered and bruised. Just line that up. Okay. But as I say, the red sort of leather leather effect really did make me think of Santa's list and yeah, I thought this would be a really fun thing to do. So I'm just concentrating as to what the next logical step is. So as I say, that one, I don't want to do anything to the cover um, because I just really like this and it just, it really does look like something that Santa would have. 
Um, this one is just plain. So I want to use this. Um, this is from a card making kit. Uh, I think it's Hunky Dory. Um, they've got these little like A6 poems about Christmas. And this one actually talks about Santa bringing gifts and toys, good little girls and boys. And it fits really nicely on the cover. Nicely framed around. Um, the only thing, I just wanted to have a look. Bear with me. That could have been nice, but we're not making a book cover. <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't know whether to layer this up with anything or just stick it down as is. Because as I say, these, these journals are for... Um, You know, they're probably going to be for, for children, I imagine. So I'm tempted just to, just to stick it down. I might just ink it slightly. It feels weird to do uh, simple, I guess, is the word. Not like, you know, massive layers and stuff. Now, because I'm sticking this on a strange surface, I think I will use the beacon. And then we're going to go over it with matte medium, so um, it will be it will be well stuck down. That's what we want. Well stuck down and protected. I think it's the important part. I don't know whether to put any more glue on. A bit more glue. Okay. I'm really concentrating today. <laughs> I feel myself go quiet every so often where I'm just, you know, making sure that I'm getting the right steps in. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Um, so the next step is to matte medium it. So as I say, this is the side that you would preferably, preferably write on. Um, just so that you know we can protect this and protect this niceness um, of course if you don't have as nice a book cover you can do this with any book cover um, and they're a nice a nice thickness for a writing board as well um, if you didn't have you know all this and you didn't like the cover itself you could just cover it front and back with the scrapbooking paper you know there's um, lots of ways to do it I've done it with book pages and then just matte medium dip it, it works really, really well. Right, matte medium. <laughs> I think that will be the next logical step. So give me two secs. I'll just get myself organised for that. And uh, we'll do that part together just so you can see. This is what I'm using. Um, it's just a, a matte gel medium, I think it's called. Um, I use this instead of Mod Podge because uh, it acts as a sealer from what I understand, like Mod Podge, but it doesn't it doesn't go tacky uh, like Mod Podge does. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing and it does dry clear. The only thing that I will say is try to avoid getting like brush marks on it. Because uh, you know it will dry as, as ridges and you'll be able to see it. So just a nice a nice good layer. Um, I'm not I'm not an expert at all. I just um, this is just how I do it. And we're going to do this front and back so that it's well protected. And as I say, it will give you a really nice hard surface for for writing on. Um, as well because this will help firm up the paper underneath 
it dries quite quickly actually as well um so make sure i don't get a hair on it okay um it does dry quite quick and as i say it doesn't go it doesn't for me uh, it doesn't appear to go tacky like mod podge does So I will probably pause the video whilst I carry on, because you don't need to see me <laughs> do this the whole time, do you? Um, I'll get both of them done, um, front and back, and then we'll do the, do the next steps together as well. So as you can see, I'm just going to carry on brushing this on until I've got a nice layer and an even coating. And uh, I'm just making sure that I haven't got any weirdness but I find this stuff is quite forgiving um so don't be scared of it <laughs> like I was uh, so I'll, I'll see you shortly okay I think these are dry enough for handling now um so I all the all that's dry um you might find and I find this sometimes you um can get a few wrinkles in the paper um, I don't know if that's just the matte medium reacts with glue or what, but um, I just go over it with a brayer and it smooths everything down. The only trouble is I did that on the front here and some of the glossy coating on the topper came off. So we've actually got, well, almost like a little bit of a fading going on. Um, I don't mind that because if this was Santa's notebook, um, writing board thing, then um, there would be a little bit of that going on. So it's kind of vintaged it up and you can still read the poem. So I'm just going to go with it and, um, you know, carry on. OK, so I'm going to use my gilding polish just to go around the edges. I know you're not supposed to stick your finger in it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any way to get it out of the pot without my fingers so we're just going to do a light coating around and I just find that this finishes things off you know quite nicely especially for a project like this um, obviously I won't sit here and do you know all the edges with you because that would be very boring to watch but I'm just showing you and if you don't have any uh, gilding polish I used to use uh, before I got this I just used uh, gold acrylic gold acrylic paint and it did the job just fine. Now here I'm just going in a little bit further than just the edge because the book cover is a little bit um, not so great there so I'm just thinking just do it a little bit more heavy there just to cover up those those imperfections and as I say it just gives it a nice a nice look especially for Christmas and Santa and all the rest of it so as I say I'm just gonna go around all the edges front and back of both book covers just like that and um, so I'm gonna hit pause <laughs> if I can use my fingers um, and I will catch you on the flip side so all of the gilding is now done. So we've got a nice, nice gold edging around the whole thing. Um, so the only other job that I need to do now is to um, put on these gold uh, book corners, which I'll do uh, obviously all four sides on both of them. Um, but I, uh, I'm not going to do that now because yeah, it's a bit of a dull task. But um, I'll do that before um, uh, taking a photo of them for the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, that that is those. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed following along the the process. Um, I appreciate it was a lot of like pausing and, and stop starting. But um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing those come together, and I hope you like the idea of it. Um, now that the matte medium is all all dry, um, this has got a really nice texture for writing on. Um, the only other thing that I might do is um, put them under something heavy. Um, just to flatten them down a bit because um, the book covers themselves are a little bit bowed anyway so I'm thinking they might just want yeah putting under something flat and then we can do the the book corners 
so that is those and um, my uh, Santa Claus inspired uh, book boards writing boards um so yeah <laughs> uh, that was that was yeah fun to do and uh, it all came together in the end so um as I say I just need to put the book corners on so thanks so much for joining me and um, seeing those come together um I hope you learned something or um just enjoyed watching um I hope it's given you some ideas and uh, yeah as always I'll catch you on the next video uh for more Christmassy fun probably <laughs> all right then everyone thanks so much and we'll speak soon bye bye for now <laughs>